Okay. So yes, you are still on Zach's Auto Sports channel. I know it's Auto Sports. And it's mostly me doing car stuff like mechanics, auto body, and some sim racing. But I also do enjoy space. I think uh, aerospace is like very important for the automotive world. Um, I think a lot of th uh, technology trickles down, and overall, I just I quite enjoy the. Uh, Apollo missions and such, and came across this simulator. And what it's called re-entry, an orbital simulator. And what it does is that you can actually follow all the uh, the original NASA missions. So the uh, oh, just a second, Let me go to missions. Yeah, so the Mercury, Gemini, and Apollo. Um. If you don't know too much about these earlier missions, there's a great movie called The Right Stuff, made in 1983, and it follows uh, the Mercury Project, and possibly, no, not Gemini, I think just Mercury, all like the capsule um, projects and stuff, but let's see, so where should we start off, this, uh, Profile, just my name and capsule. I don't want to leave it at that. Um, settings. Um, earth textures. Maybe low. I don't know. FX. Realism. Um, simplified dock. Like I said, I have not played too much of this. So. I'm. Learning as we go. Reduce Apollo launch camera shake. Nah, let's keep that. Okay. So what is the academy? Manual? Lessons? Do we need to do lessons or should we just go straight into it? Oh, campaigns. The bridge to the moon. So, so far I know the game has like all the Mercury and Gemini missions complete. And I think the creator is working on the Apollo missions. And he just recently finished the uh, lunar module. Okay. Quick start. The bridge to the moon. Space race has started. Soviet Union has... Be in the U.S. on almost every front, putting a first man in the space and in orbit. Yeah, remember that. Project Mercury, putting American. Yep. Gemini. The year is 1962. NASA just announced that you are accepting new astronaut applications for Project Gemini, and you decided to give it a go. The application was accepted after a long period of intense training. Things are starting to get real, and the reach for space is getting closer. I won't read this all through for you guys. I'll just scroll down slowly so you can read as well. Gemini capsule. <laughs> so I think this is... Yeah, these are the missions where you have to dock with the Agena and such. Launch rehearsal? Oh, I just click on the here and see. Okay. Well, let's do that. Launch rehearsal. Schedule launch rehearsal for first mission assignments moments away. You will enter the cockpit with Commander Patrick and perform various tests to ensure you are ready for the first assigned mission. Okay, let's get to it. Probably just a bunch of checklists. Make sure everything's working correctly. Or, I mean, we're working correctly, you know how to operate the spacecraft. Oh, there's music. Okay. 
Okay. Welcome aboard, Zach. Thanks, Patrick. A few tests. Roger. Set you in your default working view. Let's see if I modify Use the VEEK. The view menu allows you to select what view you wish to switch to. Hmm. On the view selector, select the pilot's panel to enter the pilot's working view and the pilot's seat to look out the window. Try both of them. Am I the pilot? It even highlights all the switches, so you know which one you're clicking on. And pilot seat. Guess we're looking straight up at the sky. Look around the cockpit by holding the middle mouse button or scroll wheel button while moving the mouse. Woo! Okay. Ah, the Agena. So this is the craft that docks at the Agena. Okay. Roger. So arrow keys for the other cockpit. Page up, page down. Oh, okay. You know what, this would actually be pretty insane with a VR headset. I don't own one, but it's definitely something that would make these simulators much better. I don't know about the shaky launches that might make you sick, but it's to look around. Now else will zoom in and out? Oh, okay. Really see what you're clicking on. Another important feature is to open and close the tools communication menu. In this cockpit, the menu is located just below the commander's seat. Commander's pen. Tools communication menu. This what they mean? I don't know. This menu. Also about radio communication, but in some cases it says opening, closing things, hatch, operating tools. So I guess it means these things. Some of the commander's seat, commander's panel. Okay. Oh, I must, yeah, okay. If you wish to perform a radio test, see the radio is working properly conveyor, press the radio check on my side here. Only one, yeah. Radio check. Hope later on that these, uh, when like mission control talks to you, that becomes actual voice. Loud and clear, Patrick. Tight but good. That's what she said. Battery test. 
Battery test is important to check. Form a backup. Not needed entering a fight. test. Capsule 1, please perform a battery check on main battery 1 and 2. Over. To do the battery test, use the pilot's panel. Pilot's panel. There are four switches. Labeled main batteries for the batteries on the bottom of the right hand panel. I don't see them. Main batteries. Oh, right here. Let's go to pilot seat, that would be easier. Go down like this. Review, close it. To operate a switch, push up using the left mouse button, down using the right. Okay, in the Gemini cockpit. So I guess it'll be different for other ones. The main battery one is highlighted. Push it down to test position by right clicking the switch. Okay. Roger. Next battery to the main test circuit. Next the main battery to the test. Look forward on the pilot's panel again. The panel should be visible with the highlights selected to set this to 1B using the right. So, right is clockwise. Oh, wait. There you go. Yeah. Now set this to BT. Here's battery test. Which one? Did it highlight a different one? BT. Ah, all the way over there. Volts gauge will show the voltage of the battery. Oh, God, I just want to fly. But I assume these tests are important. This is all about learning the spacecraft, too. Okay. I'm sorry this is utterly boring for you guys tonight, but I'm just learning as well. The battery can be malfunctioning, the voltage is low. The voltage is low, don't turn on the battery. This one looks good. So, almost 30 volts of direct current. It's important to only have one battery in a test position at the same time. Set the main battery, one switch to the off. Okay, there we go. Battery 2 to test. Can I get both in the same? Perfect. Yeah. Back to 
the half. Yep. Main barrier one and two. That's three or four. Or four. Please turn on the onboard computer. Where's that? Computer is an important feature during flight. Center pedestal panel. So, center pedestal? Or center panel? Right, let's go. Oops. I think I'm just pretty enough. Zoomed in a little bit. Okay. So this one. On. Roger. Computer's on. Everything thing needed is to turn on the computer keyboard. Verify that it's on. Computer keyboard. Is it highlighted? Say Roger. Altitude control. Sits on, I really don't know. Computer. I don't know. Okay. They got data. I guess it's working. Computer's up and running. So what did I do? I tested batteries. And turned on the computer. And apparently that makes me ready to go to space. Like, what are these for? Well, if NASA thinks I am, then I guess I am. Done. Which exit? Did I win? I don't know. Launch rehearsal. The first mission. This one has stars. So I completed it? First mission, Gemini Titan rocket is ready on the pad. Commander Patrick and his crew to orbit around Earth. Okay. I guess we're ready to orbit. Prepare the cockpit for launch. Roger. Roger. Okay. Checklist. Okay, took the mission pad. 
It's really hard to talk to you guys and play at the same time. There's a lot of information to take in. Hmm. About 30 seconds. Pre-launch checklist. Checklist. Pre-launch? Pre-flight? Insertion radio. Replay. Main batteries. Oh. Roger. Roger. Let's start with electrical power system following the pre flight checklist. Main battery to on. Is he doing that? Oh wait. I'm doing that. Oops. Battery on. Battery two on. And I wanna see if I'm getting voltage. Oh that's just the test panel, right? Battery 3 on, battery 4 on. Squib battery. What the hell are those? But you said turn them on, so on. Squib battery 2 on. Squib battery 3 on. Fuel cells are on the main pilot's panel. Set the fuel set the fuel cell stack one A on. Um, give me a second here, Cap. I don't know where those are. Oh, right. these are fuel cells. Fuel cell B on, on C, 2A, 2B, 2C. So fuel cells are on, but they're not powered. Okay. Power on. Oh. Something going on. Fuel cell power two on. This voltages are evening out. Okay. I mean, I know what I'm doing. Computer power to on. That's back here. MDU, MDIU computer display and keyboard to on. Insert squibs. Arming retro rockets. Retro rockets too. Wait, it's so on the pilot, not the commander. I don't know what that means. Okay. Okay. More checklists. <laughs> Open mission pad, go to checklist and find the pre flight checklist. Checklist. Pre flight. Roger. Press one. Look, checklist guidance system help you set the remaining switches. Look for the blue guidance squares and set the remaining switches. Roger. Run. Pump. Okay, this one. Where are those anyways? I don't know. Cool prize of so coolant? Where to go for launch? Wait, I'm not ready! Wait. What was that? Oh, down. 
computer mode one or radio check. Radio check, guys. We're good. Another feature of reentry is time scaling. You can use numeric keys to set the time scale. One is normal time, switch numbers are multiples of this. Oh, okay. So I guess like the actual time of the game? Or I mean uh, the time pass. Oh, okay, up in the top uh, left corner here. Time to launch. Okay. Use time scale to speed up time. So it's blocked. Okay. Press four to speed up time. Ten times. Oh, we're gonna launch soon. Select ground, no, we're ready for launch. When circular buttons are visible in the commander's seat, press ready to launch. Ready to launch. Actually, doing it. Jeez, 13 psi. Where is he getting these readings? I got altitude. Just want field decreasing. I'm just gonna leave with all this. He's got all the good stuff over here. His altitude. 5,000 feet. Where's that 50,000? Go back to the external. Oh, well, let's see. Oh, we can't do it. Oh, probably because we're getting. Space. Um, we're supposed to get into orbit and do one rotation or one orbit of the Earth. I mean, ah, okay. Ah, beautiful. You know, for early access game, I gotta say, oh, this is probably where it was asking me for the Earth textures, but I mean, this is pretty nice. Oh.
stage two. What's the orbital view look like? Oh, burn lights, roar borealis. Oh, we are here. Oops. Stage two to ascend into initial orbit. Orbital speed. Look outside. Can't see. Major difference between spacecraft and Mercury. Yeah, Mercury was pretty much just a capsule that uh, astronauts sat in and engineers and computers did the work. This one, I guess you have more control with, say, like a jet fighter, which is what the astronauts wanted. Enjoy the view on my other systems. I am really enjoying this. Can I change this a little bit? Sorry, I know this video might be a little bit boring to start with, but I think I am liking it. So I think I'll probably do all the uh, actual missions, or not missions, but the academy, so I can kind of just do the checklist by hand on my own pace and explain as I go, because I'm not quite sure what exactly I was testing. Okay. Prepare for Seco. Let's go back into Roger. Roger Seco. Oh, we're gonna separate. Yeah, let's stay back outside. Look at that. Press the covered set pin button. Push button separate us from launch vehicle. Oh let's see. Which button? This one? Oh, must have been it. Separation complete. The fairings button above to uncover our scanners, radar, and sensors. Their fairings, where do they go? Oh, probably over there. Cool. Mission pad checklist enable the ohm system. translation controls to zero the IBIs. It does not need to be exact for this mission to give you a shot. On commander's side, take a peek. The 
I have yet seen the commander slides so take a peek at them during their maneuver. I don't know. Want a seat? I don't know what IVI is. This. Okay. Um. Bad. Checklist. Oops. Checklist. Crap. Which one did I need? Any bombs? Ohms control power on. Oh, oops. On. Oh. Open. Oh. So what am I trying to do now? Orbit insertion checklist. Clear the cockpit to orbit mode. Um, oh, so it could do a little bit of burns. Hmm. Okay. Check this. Uh, oh crap, which one was that? Uh, I forget. Insertion? Which one was I supposed to do? I'm gonna say insert. Okay. Down. Down. Middle. Insert down retro one down 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 okay how do I go back Oh, so much information, I like completely lost myself in what I was supposed to do. I really don't even know, like, so show me the types of burns I was supposed to do. And, I, and burns, I mean, like, uh, would be a little bit of thrust to change, like, the orbit. You know, when a game makes you stressed out, I guess that's kind of a good. Um, rate command flight most general. Okay. Use a rate. I'm gonna do this checklist right now. Ray command mode checklist. W S A D to yaw and Q E to roll. Give it a try. Roger. Okay, but I need to run this checklist first, right? Acme mode. On it at one. Oh, yeah, right, command. Okay. Prior, so. Prior. 
prop. Now I could do Let's see how it looks on the outside. Oh yes, yeah, so I get the do barons on the side. Interesting. Yeah, let's just waste some fuel here, boys. Okay. So what else do we do? Oh, let's... Actually, because we're supposed to do a full orbit of the Earth. Can we see how far we've been? Oh, is this the orbit we were supposed to take? Okay, let's screw that up. Or is that the equator? Uh, I don't know. Aurora Borealis again, hello. See my home. Hmm, where is Edmonton? Here? Better seat. So far, this is pretty insane, like, level of realism. I think I'm going to spend many hours playing this. Uh, do we feel any of the movement in here? Oh yeah, we still got... Ah, so when you're moving, you actually see your gimbal move around too. How do we... where's our fuel levels? Is it here? Propellant? Or is it over here? Seat. Fuel one? Let's make time go a bit faster. That's cool. Now nah, it kind of looks like we're orbiting pretty quick. Five? Twenty times? Oh, wow, still not far away from our uh, second stage. This kind of blows my mind that nowadays, like with simulators, you could pretty much try anything. And props to the developer of this game. I'm going to link it in the description. Okay. About to reach the African coast in Madagascar. We are about to transition into the night side of Earth. Check out the sunset by looking out the retrograde direction if you wish.
cool. Speed her up again. I feel like my head's outside of the cockpit. Or the spacecraft. It's not a capsule. I actually have control of this one. Back up. I want to take a picture. Oh, I missed it. Okay. Do it again sometime. I want to take a steam picture. Oh! We'll soon fly over our show that night lights from the major stage to easy visual unless these are clouds. This also completes a mission. If you know the spacecraft, feel free to take it down through reentry. Uh, should we try? Yeah, let's just go back to the pilot seat. And maybe... Mission pad? Checklist? Orbiting. Um. I mean, how hard could it be? Pumps down, yeah, I know what these pumps do. Sun up. I just look at my, we're doing the five minute to retro thruster checklist. Retro. This one? Cell power down. Those are over here. Down, 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 down. RCS. So the green, they're pushed. Sip Ohm's line. Sip Ohm's. Let's move over here. I wish I knew what all these did. <laughs> Retro. 
Virtual Man up. IGS platform four. That'd be two. There. Acting on six. Reentry. Okay. seconds to run through. Run. I don't know if I'm like doing this too soon or too fast, but S squib up. Oh, this is all commander stuff. Okay. Up, up, up. Arm retro push. One second. One second after retro ignition, man, fire retro. Okay. So they should be firing soon. I think I might just end the mission because I don't really know how to enter yet. Jettison rituals. Oops, let's close that. I'm on the dark side, you can't see anything. I did it. Wait, I've done time and space.
the new commander. You now have your own flight. It will command you next. It has one orbit scheduled. You command you to through the atmosphere. Complete one orbit and one enter. And re enter with a splashdown in the Atlantic. It is expected to perform all the checklists and tasks on board. Okay. Well, I think I'm going to keep that for the next video. But I really enjoyed that. Sorry, it might be a bit bland for now. So I'm still learning everything. But for those of you that stuck around for it, thanks so much for watching. And I hope you look forward to the upcoming videos. And if you like the game, like I said, I'll put a link or uh, just look up a re-entry on Steam. Have a good night.